cool. This is what the sound of my truck with the resonator delete and a custom exhaust pipe um, without the um, air intake installed yet. Um, but yeah, my truck though, it's already pretty much loud to begin with. So, and um, wanted to find out if there's gonna be uh, some differences if, if I'm going to um, add the uh, custom intake. So we'll, we'll find out. So right now, it's gonna rev it. That's uh, what it sounds like inside the cabin. As you can see. So we'll find out after I install the um, intake if there's going to be uh, some uh, advantages of having it and if there's going to be um, enhancement on the uh, exhaust sound. Here it goes again. Hopefully this is not going to be a freaking hard time to remove the way I'm looking at it right now. There's that baby right there that I have to remove a couple of those uh, hoses, those two, this guy, and I should be done. There you go, peeps. This is cold right now. I can easily install this guy. So let's go in the cabin and um, let's see if there's any changes on the sound. Let me, um... Okay, so insert the cabin first. Okay, see how it goes. could hear it but it's got like that sucking sound of all that intake in there you go now let me go ride it and find out all right let's see See what's up. Need it here. There's my backup camera right there. Okay. I'll turn that off for a while.
that's what it is. Okay. Now it's, uh, I turn around over here and try to head back. And, um, since the exhaust is in the back, uh, maybe it's, you just can't hear him because I'm facing like the uh, dashboard of the truck. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to face the camera, like pretty much the back cabin. Let's see if you guys can hear the resonate from the exhaust. And um, maybe we can get a better idea how it, we can compare the sound uh, from being in a cabin uh, compared to, um, you know, um, from the uh, the back, so I'm gonna go ahead and position it right here. for the results to be honest with you guys yep so there it is 